what's going on likers subscribers and everyday vibers it's Saturday it's a little chilly out me and my lady are hopping on the road uh, we're gonna go grab some eats real quick and then figure out where the day is gonna take us from there um, honestly she doesn't know but I plan on getting us both sentences today because I can't stand riding and not being able to talk to her and tell her like, hey, I need you to speed up or just ask her questions, whatever it may be. It's not like sitting in a car, dude, when you're sitting right next to the person and you can talk to them. So I like to be able to communicate with her, uh, but me and her mom are actually getting her an early birthday present. So that will be tuned later. And then I'm sure after we get them, there will be a review on how they're working out um I'm, I'm looking at the uh the 30ks the dual pack to try and save a little bit of money so i'm super excited to grab those i think she'll love it honestly when she gets on her bike there's nothing like being able to jam out you know and then when we're riding together being able to communicate with another person Dude, I'm I, like, it's crazy. I'm so excited that she's on the road and she's comfortable now. Uh, we got her comfortable with shifting up to third gear. Working with her on uh, her starts from a stop on a hill. And, uh, and she's killing it. Today, she pulled out with no problems, no stall. First time she's done that. And man, everything she's just picking up, she's starting to go faster. I honestly think she's enjoying it. And it's like, I love seeing her happy, man. And it, it's crazy. It is crazy, like how far she's come in the little bit of time that she's been riding, uh, picking up on everything that I'm saying. I know at times she may uh, get frustrated a little bit with how repetitive I can be. But I told her, I was like, at the end of the day, you know, it's okay if you get frustrated as long as you pick up on what I'm putting down. You know, I'm here to make sure that you're safe and I want to make sure that you enjoy your rides and you can not enjoy your rides. If you're questioning yourself, you know, or not confident in your skills, it'll take time, but she is definitely becoming a better rider. And I love to see the progression. It reminds me of when I first started and I say it like it was a long time ago. Dude, I started riding like six months ago and I am loving it. All the stuff that I have learned how to do since then is like ridiculous. Uh, pretty much pick up small things that you notice that you do and you start to perfect your craft, right? And it's amazing. It is amazing. I'm gonna get her on rolling these, not rolling, I don't wanna say rolling these stops, but coming to a stop not putting her feet down and taking off if there's nobody at the stop because I know that's a pain dude every time you come to a stop sign putting your feet down and that's not bad at all at the end of the day as long as she's good I could care less oh that's amazing that's what I'm talking about I was expecting her to put her feet down right there second gear I can only imagine her like smiling right now in her helmet I gotta ask her how she's feeling looks like she's really confident dude like she was kind of a little she had a look in her face like she was a little scared to to hop out on the streets and stuff but she's tired of being in the parking lot dude i remember i was tired of being in the parking lot after 30 minutes of being in the parking lot i worked on my shifting for a little bit and i was like forget it dude time to hop in that uh in that real real street life you know what i'm saying so i hopped out there i got on the frontage road once I got comfortable on the streets, I went straight to the straight to the freeway. And I was about ready to max this bad boy out. All right, so we're gonna go grab some eats and we'll be back. We're back. Food fueled. So we got the fuel in us on our way now to cycle gear, the gear for the cyclers. Yeah, so really the only plan for the day is enjoy the ride no matter where it takes us. 
And she's wondering like where, what we're going to cycle gear for. I told her we're going to cycle gear because we ride bikes and we might want to get something. Cool horrible at keeping surprises so i'm glad this is one that was like hey last minute thought about it this morning and we're doing it because like when i get her stuff for christmas and it's like all early i cannot hold water <laughs> hi No. Keep going, keep going. Second nature, man. Second nature. And she was scared to get over here, but we're here now. We're here now. Yeah. Good job. You found your... I noticed you were going a little slow. I wasn't going to say that was a problem. I just thought you wanted to be comfortable with your speed. But yes, you're right. You should have popped up in the second. And you could maintain your speed through that. But you did great. I think I did good here, huh? You did great. Huh? Somebody passed me. I think it was like an SUV. But... Alright, so we're going to go pop into cycle gear. Uh, look around a little bit. And I'll be back. Later. Alright, so... Uh, we just picked up the 30k the duel get a little bit of a discount uh, met some pretty cool people in there today uh, so it take care guys uh, met some pretty cool people outside um, these guys right here are about to go rip it up in the sand dunes it's kind of weird like like asking people like hey you know do you watch youtube videos but at the end of the day if i don't do it how am i gonna get followers man i'll be that awkward guy pretty dope having the centers though huh so we can just talk to each other yeah, and i completely understand that's why honestly grabbing these amazing uh i gotta get my slap sticker helmet that project done if i'd rather just have two you know, then have to take this one off and probably destroy it. So right now we're going to go and uh, find a parking lot to take a picture for uh, Sabrina's premiere of her 30K on her helmet. We just got to find a good location. And we're back out cruising. We could take some some pictures of you like sitting on one of those benches over there with the background with the shrines in it i think that would be pretty dope damn that fiat looks like it's had rough days oh damn the whole axle was broken oh, i'm on the wrong side to see the center hold on <laughs> there There it is. Yeah. Doing about 50 right now, sugar. I see you. So these have pretty good range on them, which is pretty cool. He said up to a mile. Jesus, I don't think we'll ever be that far separated. Like, no. So Mama Margie's for the late night after the club munchies, though. Nooch. We in neutral. Gonna go take some pictures so we can send some to Sabrina's mom. Show her the new investment of the Bluetooth. 
Uh, it's an early birthday gift from both of us to her, so. I hope that they have some of these little pink trees in the park. That would make a badass picture. Yep, dude, that shit kind of tripped me out. Like, I thought that lady had picked up that shit with her hands. I was like, damn, lady, like, there's, there's bags. Yeah, she, yeah. I was like, damn, lady, there's like bags right here. I think she saw us see her dog take a shit, and she was like, oh no, I don't want to be that person. So you gonna pick that up? <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Vamanos, chicos. So we got some pretty cool pictures. I forget what what's this park called? Denmark Park. Yeah, it's a, it's pretty nice. There's a little shrine there. I'm pretty sure it's Korean. She all keeps pulling out. Like, what the fuck, lady? Downshift into a stop's getting a little easier, huh? Good. Yeah, it just takes time and practice. You're doing great. So right now, pretty much what we're doing is we're taking the route that Sabrina will be taking to get to work. So she knows that she can make the ride. I already know she can make the ride, but I want her to feel comfortable doing so. So if she feels it's a nice day and she wants to take her bike, she can take her bike. Your turn signal's on, fam. <laughs> I think it's what 35 or 45 here so you could probably pick it up a little bit but we're going into a blind curve I like to keep it a little bit lower especially when you don't know if people are going to be pulling out you want to make sure that you're you have the good ability to stop right so you're doing perfectly fine sugar see your little lean action going on calmate I feel you. I feel you, man. Two time. Whoop, whoop. Do you want to go down towards uh, Alamo Cycleplex? For maybe, just so you know, you can make it there if they're like, hey, we're having a bike night. We can both take our bikes. I feel like I'm asking you what you want to eat right now. So we'll go to Target, uh, we go look around. I'm probably gonna end up looking at some um, memory cards. Yeah, cause this one, with like the length of videos that I take now, it gets full really fast. <laughs> yeah. Remember I, remember when I told you about uh, that, that bee that hit me and I was only doing like 50? Felt like somebody threw a rock at my face. Careful right here. Yeah, I always do head checks all the way up on that bridge just to make sure no cars are like flying down at 50 miles per hour. Take me out. It's pretty much problem solving. If you can't figure out what's going on, just give yourself some time. Remember I said all you can do is go up or down. Gear match or rev match. Figure out what gear you're supposed to be in and take it from there. If you freak out, that's when you have an accident. You just know if the wind's blowing a certain way, you make sure that your lane position is in the opposite direction. So if the wind does push you, you have a little bit of uh, room for correction of error, right? All right, so since it's empty, try not to put your feet down, but roll up, come to a kind of stop, and take off. There you go. Pick it up. It's all good. And like I said, once you get a little bit more time in, it's going to become like second nature. You know, just how fast you take off in your car now, that's how fast you'll start taking off on your bike. 
How fast are you going? Woo, new record. Pick it up. Pick it up. Feel it. You got to feel it. Pick it up, sugar. Yeah, look at you. Taking off. Okay. Slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> you got up to like 60, huh? Nice. Yeah, you're ready. Uh, did you shift up to fourth? Okay. Pop up to third. All right. Now you're going to have to rev match. Just don't let the clutch out too fast because your bike will yank back, right? There you go. See how you figure it out? Just think about the speed that you're going and be like, hey, in this speed, I know that I can go this. And then, and then all you do is you ease out, ease out on that clutch and start to rev match with your throttle. And you're good to go, baby. Good to go. Damn, that barbecue smells. Careful. Stalled out. It's all right. Take your time. It's all right. Because you're letting the clutch out too fast. Okay. There you go. Yeah, just remember you can't let that clutch out too fast, right? It's all right. What is that? You're, that's only the second stall for the day. The first time you know why you did it because you came to that stop sign after you popped down the first. You let out the clutch. Got to hold that bad boy in, especially if you're only in first because you got to give some power to the bike, right? Same thing that happened there. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Ooh, that was super wide. Okay, take your time. I'm right behind you. You don't have to pull over. Okay, we'll pop down to first. Get it back going. There you go. Sometimes I'll... Okay. Take your time. Relax. If you get frustrated, all you're going to do is keep stalling out and then you're going to get more pissed off.